guys, so I'm doing another hair tutorial for you today, and the look that I'm going to be doing is kind of like a really simple, cute wave, um, and this is actually what it's going to look like when you're done. Um, it's really simple, really easy, so I've done most of my hair already, just for the sake of time, and I have a little bit left up here that I'll show you how to do, um, but first, all you're going to need is a curling iron, um, this is the one that I'm using, and it's a one inch curling iron by Conair. Um, and uh, your, the bottom of your curling iron doesn't have to have this twisty thing at the bottom, but if you have it, that's an extra plus and you're good to go. Um, another thing that I will be using, which is not needed at all, this is optional, is my um, straightener that I have. And again, this is by Conair. Um, and this is just for my bangs because I do have side bangs. And curling them like this just doesn't really turn out too, like, turn out really good. So I'm going to use my straightener for that. Um, I'm also going to, uh, you also, you are also going to need, um, heat protectant, and this is super important. Um, I know that most of kids, especially my age, um, and even some adults, do not use heat protectant, and it is super important that you do, um, to protect your hair from the heat. It's that simple. Um, um, you're also going to need, um, some mousse. Well, it's optional. If I use mousse for when I'm done to scrunch and really hold my curls in. Um, I'm just using the Tresemme mousse, so it's not needed, but depending on your hair type, you might want to have it just in case. Um, so I already have my heat protectant in, and then I also have my um, Fritz Easy Glossing Mist in. Um, you see this probably just about any of my other hair tutorials that I do. Um, I always have this in my hair just to help with the frizz, because my hair can get really frizzy. And then you're also going to need a comb or a brush, but I prefer a comb personally. Um, so I'm just going to take it out on the rest of my hair here, and I'm just going to push this all the rest of it to the back. Just going to find my part. Oops, my phone vibrated. And then I'm just going to comb out the rest. Um, now my hair, uh, you can see that it is straight because I strained it yesterday. So I am using second day hair, which is not a bad thing. I learned that um, doing that kind of helps hold my curls in for my hair type, um, rather than washing my hair and um, blow drying it, then trying to curl it after I did that. I learned that doing this um, just holds it better. So you're going to take a small piece, um, a small section of hair, nothing too big, but now of course not small enough. So just about this much, uh, maybe about an inch or a half, an inch to an inch and a half. And um, you're just going to hold the curling iron behind your hair, and you're just going to wrap your hair around the curling iron. Just like that. So it's super simple and it's really easy. So you, um, you're not using the clamp of the curling iron at all, you're just using the actual iron um, your itself. So if you have a wand, this will work as, um, perfectly just as well. Um, and of course you can use any size straight curling iron I've had. Um, this is just the one that I've, the one inch I feel like works, uh, kind of looks more easier and a little more natural than, you know, a really small one or an even um, a bigger one. Um, so you're just going to hold the curl around the hair um, around the curling iron for maybe 10 to 15 seconds depending on your type of hair and thickness. Um, so this is actually what the curl looks like when you take it out. Um, so it's really easy. Nothing like, you know, don't know someone can't do. And it's really simple. And you're just going to do it over and over again until you're done with your hair. Um, I do advise you to be careful not to burn yourself because me, myself, I have personal experience on burning myself. And it is not fun at all. So just be careful. Ooh, just did it there. So I know it looks a little, you know, weird right now because I do have like hair in my face and it's like a little frizzy. Um, but I'm going to do probably the one more straight on this side and leave my side bangs to last. Uh, and I'll show you guys how I do those. Um, so last piece. So I'm going to do this last long piece here and then I'll leave the bangs like I you know, just said. So 
so super easy. Oh, there's feet there. Alright, so I know that looks a little weird right now, but I'm just going to leave it like that until I'm done. Um, so this side, um, I'm just going to do about two sections because that's all I have left. Um, and all I'm going to do on this side is hold the curling iron behind my hair and then carefully twist it around. So the same exact thing as the other side, just a little more, um, ooh, a little more focus is what you're going to need. And, um, ooh, depending on your hair type and your hair length, um, on how long this book will take you to do. Here. Um, mine usually takes me about almost an hour to say, I'm not joking, uh, to do my entire head with this book. Um, so it can take a long time, depending on how your, uh, how thick your hair is and how much hair you actually have. Um, but you can also do this maybe the night before and then just hairspray it or mousse it really good. Um, and then maybe sleep on it. And um, some of the curls may fall out, but you can just touch them up in the morning, no big deal. Um, or you can just do this uh, the morning, the morning of, like school or work or whatever. Um, I do wear this look a lot to school, and I have gotten a lot of compliments on it, which is the actual reason why I'm doing this tutorial. Um, it's just to show you guys. Alright. So that does look weird, it's like sticking up. All you do, because it's still warm, is you just pat it down and it will stay down um, as it cools. So there's the final look. But now I'm going to take these bangs over here. And I'm actually going to take my straightener. And I'm just, whoops. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I got caught. And I'm just going to twist my bang with the strainer. And then just kind of blend them in. So, this is the final look. Um, if you need more example on how I did my bangs just now, if you go watch my other recent video that I just posted about how um, I curl my hair with my strainer, you'll see a little more detail on how I do that. Um, but this is the final look, final product. So now I'm just going to take um, a little bit of my mousse, and I'm just going to take a small amount, not too much, just about that much, and I'm just going to crunch my hair. Um, and this just kind of holds the curls, um, make sure that they don't won't fall out anytime soon. And sometimes I'll sleep on my hair. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll do it at night, and I'll sleep, uh, sleep on it, and when I wake up, it looks a lot better, because the curls are really relaxed, um, and then all I have to do is, uh, just touch them up. So, this is the final look. Show you the back. And that's it. So, it's super easy, uh, really, you know, cute, want, fun, wavy curls, um, so I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions on how I did anything or any of the products that I used, you can leave a comment below. Um, if you thumbs up this video, that would mean a lot. And you can also hit the subscribe button above. Um, it's free, so you might as well. Um, I definitely do follow back any of this, my subscribers who I do get. Um, if you have any suggestions on any other hair tutorials you want me to do or any makeup looks you want me to do, um, you can also leave a comment below or inbox me and I will. Um, look at them or read them and then respond back. Um, the look that I am wearing now actually on my eyes. I don't know if you can really see it too well because this lighting in my bathroom is a little weird. Um, but I will be doing a tutorial on how I do this look because um, I just did this look today for the first time ever. I've never done it like this before. And I really like it. So I will stop rambling and I will see you guys in my next video and have a wonderful day. Bye!